So that's why we needed you to drop out of the race, Joe. And look at the bright side. You're going to have more time for fun stuff now. What's up, guys? The Big Don is back. You missed me? Oh, you're here. Great. Sit down right there. Fine. Now that you all are here, I had an amazing idea how to cheer you up after late events, but also how to cheer up Joe after dropping out of the race. Wait, wait, wait. Joe dropped out of the race. So who's replacing him, Kamala or Kennedy? We don't know yet, but when this video drop, it will be probably long known, but Biden endorsed Kamala, so that's fine. I did? It's the first game I prepared for today is an old one game that most of you probably know, and it's relevant even as of today. Was that fucking Kennedy in the menu? What in the fuck have you got us playing, Barack? So don't worry about it. Joe will go first as our lab rat, then I'll have the courtesy to go second, and you will be last. And after we see who is the best Harvey Lee Oswald of us, we will jump straight to the second game that is more recent, you could say. Dallas, Nebraska, 12.30 a.m., September 22nd, 1969. The Texas Book Library, sixth floor. The weather is skibidi as fuck. Wait, what? You have a rifle. Real fucking classy of you. I nearly died because of some chromosome deficient kid stole his parents' rifle and shot at me while the incompetent Secret Service staff can't see him, and I miraculously turned my head to survive, and this is how you treat me? Come on, Trump. You know damn well that if this happened to Biden, you would be doing the same right now. If this happened to Biden, he wouldn't be here today because he doesn't have the lightning fast reflex like I do to duck so fast. Why are you shooting at Kennedy's wife, Joe? Because this is what happened, right? I remember it like yesterday, they were driving and she got shot dead and Kennedy got pierced ear and he got away fine. Some people in the crowd died, I think. And yes, I got the bitch. Oh my, a Joe, you messed up the event and somehow got it mixed up with Trump attempt. This isn't what happened, you dumbass. Then explain to me why it just happened on the screen. Because you did it, you dumbass. Kennedy actually died during that day, along with Governor Connolly. But the ladies and everyone else was clearly not the target, so they got out without a scar. I'm still in disbelief that there is a whole ass game about sniping Kennedy and that your goofy ass brought the copy of this game to the White House. Is Secret Service even aware that you brought this game with you? Since we are on the topic of sniping some noobs, is your ear all right? I wonder if you actually got hurt or is this bandage just for show? What do you think? I got hit in the ear with a fucking IR bullet. Didn't you see the whole clip? You can clearly see my ripped earlobe was just bleeding everywhere. Oh shit, I hit JFK too. And for you, you got hit only in the ear and not even in the head. So it's basically like it never happened. I don't get why you are still so bitchy about it. Because I was an inch away from dying to some autistic nerd. You're lucky the shooter was worse than Jalen Green in the last season. So to summarize, you hit the governor's wife, first lady in JFK, and you killed nobody. So for that, you got a negative thousand points. Sign. I think that I'm going to just shoot the driver to halt the car and then shooting the JFK in governor. Should go easier. I will get some negative points for hitting the driver, but it will pay off. Just look at this. I hope you will miss every single shot because no person should be hurt in such a way. Fear should you not because I would never submit myself to go out to a black person such as Obama. Say what? Nigga, what? Uh, isn't he from the 60s? I'm pretty sure the segregation was still going on back then. 20 minutes later. So disregarding that shit shot. Uh, does anyone see how I clearly hit the driver several times already? Of course, my genius tactics got disregarded by the stupid rules of the game, and I'm probably gonna get less points than Joe now. Look at it from the other side, though. No one died. Joe, how bad are you to get more negative points than a guy who didn't even touch JFK once in nine shots? I bet you will get the worst score out of us three. Nah, I'll just recreate what happened in Pennsylvania and hope that JFK will not be as quick as I was to turn his head. No fucking way. I need to be careful with first shot, though. Fuck! Damn it! Fuck this shit. I'm shooting until I get him. Such yourself, you're gonna recreate what happened in Pennsylvania, and so far you are right. Yeah, but his ass is ignoring my shots, and he isn't even trying to dodge them. I won't let him get away with this. I hit him with the first shot, but I need the second hit to kill him. You've become the very thing you swore to destroy. You became Thomas Matthew Crooks. Don't even bring up that nerd name. Bro was looking like a deformed walnut. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that I hit Governor with the first shot. That's some additional points right there. You also hit a Secret Service agent straight in the brain. I would say something here, but I don't want to become the next TI target. So your final score is... Negative 800? What in the rigged fuck is going on here? That's 500, not eight. Damn, I knew shooter. Got your ear fucked up, but I didn't know the eyes also done got cooked. Mm-hmm. 
So like always, the great dawn wins because it turns out that I'm the best out there, truly iconic. My tremendous aim makes me the best assassin. My swing power makes me the best golfer out there. And my huge amounts of money make me the best businessman in the town. Oh, and also my gigantic grip strength makes me the best pussy grabber. This game should be a bit lighter and easier on the eyes because it was made only a couple years ago, back when you were running for the president in 2016. I understand, but why is there a blasphemous photo such as this? And where even are we? It looks like the Sims house where you replace their door with a wall. This is my kind of jam. Oh man, I'm about to hit that Charleston dance. What is the point of this game? So far, I haven't seen anything except for my digitally altered portrait. A, because it's just a lobby. Joe, would you mind clicking on that small photo pinned on the wall right there? Reality star runs for president. Really? I am just known for being a reality show star instead of a fucking multi-billionaire with a frickin' tower in the middle of Manhattan? Oh fuck, watch out Donald. Is it shooter in the crowd? We'll come and save you. Yep, you're as useful as Secret Service was that day. My bad G, I'll just restart the level. Now I won't fail you, my pookie dokie bear. What in the hell did you just call me? At least he's immersed in the role of a bodyguard. You're going the wrong way, dumbass. Geez, man, just relax these controls. Are hard for a mature, sharp gentleman as me. You are more of a wrinkled, old, demented fuck than that. Donald, he saved your fat ass, so give him a break. Sometimes controls in a game can get you tweaking. Oh man, these chairs are pretty sturdy. I'll tell you that, folks. That's what you have a jump button for, don't you? Oh yeah, that's true. Man, you're a pretty smart guy for a diabetic, obese, 600-pound, rude cheater ass. Oh, why I oughta? Just leave him be done. You deserve that for all the things you said about him. Man gotta take a jab back at you once in a while. I'll let it slide this time, but it's only because you have quit the election and you just saved my in-game character that for some reason is called Rump instead of Trump. His name is Rump, because knowing your greedy ass, you would have sued the shit out of the developer first moment. You take a look at the game. Fair enough. Oh, I was scrolling through the True Social real quick and I just seen that BBC News posted something about Kamala Harris getting picked as the next candidate. Wasn't the convention supposed to be in the August? Was it? I mean, we already pretty much agreed on it. So we don't need a lot of time to establish her as the candidate. Why do I always get to run against a Satan personified, first crooked Hillary and now crooked Kamala Harris? I'm gonna ratio that bitch anyway, so why do I even care? Having such a shit show right before the elections is such a Democrat thing to do. Hey, hey, I saved Donald Trump with that big bump. Don't sexualize my huge, powerful glutes, Joe. But you're asking for it with that big bun day behind you. Joe's right, though. Look at this photo. Kim Kardashian probably dream about having such a dump truck on it. Now, why is there a wall next to backstage? It doesn't make any sense at all. I wouldn't think too much of this. It's just another obstacle to make the level harder before the end of the stage. I know that this game has a couple of stages, so we'll just alternate it between us, and that way we all get to play it. But we'll be waiting centuries before Joe finishes his stage. Just look how he manages to fail so spectacularly every single attempt he gets. Blame yourself for placing this dumbass wall with your stupid slogan right next to you. Like, see, shit like this is why I struggle. In real life, this piece of wall would easily knock your fat ass over because once your weight moves an inch to the side, the gravitational pull does the rest. I don't want to hear anything about balance from the guy who can't walk up a flight of stairs or even walk in straight line for that matter. <laughs> yeah. I think Grandpa Joe over here forgot to take his daily medication today. Oh, and would you look at that? It's the end of the stage one. And it looks like we have a little statue of wrestling Donald here. Rump used to be a character in professional wrestling and wants to relive his glory days and needs your help to feel alive again. To progress, you need to drop an elbow or headbutt on Rump. Shit, say less. I would love to help with that. Okay, now I understand why you thought I would sue the fuck out of the developer. What a disrespectful brat. I was the one that was dealing out punches in WWE and not the other way around. I would love to say the same, but my ass got knocked out by Omega back in 2008 in my fight against Hillary. At least you were in WWE, unlike Wooden Teeth Joe over here. Why are you guys so cool? You always make me feel sad that you live such a fun life. While I was just dealing with documents in my office all the time as a senator since the 70s. Not our fault that you had to stick up your ass for the majority of your life, lame ass. Come on, Joe. You can't say that running the country as my VP wasn't fun. These eight years were so fun. 
Yeah, yeah, go get a room first and then you can kiss each other asses. Stop being gross. Instead, you can watch me dropping a massive elbow on you from the ladder. Watch out or I'll drop a massive dookie on your head. Um, that's, that's a new one, I guess. Front flip! Why the characters just exploded like the villages you nuked Obama? I never nuked any fucking villages. Now this is interesting. I gotta climb on some kind of roof and then jump on you. Now don't get near me with that gay shit, Barack. I don't swing that way. Oh, give it a rest, you know what I meant. Ooh, now it's a cow. Hell cage in a uh, caged hell match. Yeah, sure, buddy. Jesus, caged hell. And you are shit, bro, Bomna. This is the easiest level in the entire game. You didn't even play a single level yet. I bet you will struggle to finish a single level when it's your turn. I touched you right there. How it didn't count as a completed level. Come on, Barry. Don't participate in any touching without me. Bro just impaled the cage with his frickin' head. This is some cool shit for once, not gonna lie. This is the one right here. This is the final attempt. For sure, bud. Fuck. This. Game. Uh, what happened? Why is the screen black? I don't know. Maybe because Mr. Abamba right here just smashed out half of the keycaps on the keyboard? Sorry, guys. I'm just going to quickly put these keycaps on, and then it's Donnie's turn. Self-funded presidential run hits a detour? What do you mean, self-funded, bro? I literally get $45 million monthly from Elon Musk alone for my presidential campaign. And you know, Elon, I love Elon Musk. Endorsed me the other day, not $45 million. Gives me $45 million a month. Wow. What a nice guy Elon is. It sucks that he's endorsing a felon instead of Kamala. I would do the same. Kamala is a freaking monster. You try living with her in the same house for four years and you will be just a husk of your previous self. This is just the beginning of a Mr. President speed run. I'm gonna glide over every level just like this one. One try and no fails. Oh no, not the stairs. Did he just, oh my fucking God. Are we playing his younger version of Joe Biden? Guy literally can't walk down a couple of stairs. These stairs are no joke, don't they defeated thousands. Shut up, shut up. Just shut the hell up. You ruined my perfect run. <laughs> Bro, mad as hell. Ha, yes, yeah, yes. Ha, 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 fuck you whiny Democrats. I'm the best, the very best at everything I do. What the fuck? For a moment there, you sounded like Obama Don, ha, ha. Give me your money so I can take credit for it? I never said that. And why is there no... Oh, okay, so now Obama is raiding me with his best friends. Bombs! Ah! And I do it first time, not even trying. I'm goaded! How am I supposed to fit in that small mouse crack? Huh? Crack? Where is it? Oh my fuck. And that's how Don does it! That's how Don does it? How can you say that after failing this level for 50 times? Don't worry, Barack, it's normal to be jealous. Okay. But how can I be jealous if I completed my stage the fastest out Holy of fuck, what I have just done? <laughs> if you fail this level with such a glitch, you are officially doo-doo in this game. I won't, though. Hell yeah. Once again, the Great Dawn strikes back. So is there anything more to this game? Well, this is pretty much it. We have more chapters. But the viewers can comment if they want another episode. Also, if you are still watching the video, then make sure to subscribe because you seem to enjoy this video. And Pa Joey might enjoy you now that I think about it. Oh my God. Cut the video now. Subscribe to Oval Office Gaming right now or Barack will go get your oil with his drones.